run a sub 4 minute mile is this legendary time barrier in middle distance running. It was first broken back in 1954 by Roger Bannister. Since then it has been broken by over 1400 athletes. But it's still something only elite middle distance runners are capable of. And I will most probably never get close to that time barrier myself. But I thought it would be a fun little experiment to see if I can get it done with some help of gravity. So me and Elin are on our way to the mountains to spend the Easter there. And on our way there we're passing this pretty steep uh, road. So I thought that would be a good place to try to run a downhill sub 4 minute mile. The road has an average grade of about 8% so with the help of that downhill I think I may have a shot at uh, breaking a sub 4 minute mile. It will still be pretty hard I think. Do you think I can do it Elia? <laughs> it's very hard to tell. To be honest I haven't even tried to run an all out uh, mile on the track. So this will be my first all out mile and I will do it downhill trying to break the 4 minute barrier. We're now at the road that I will run up and uh, I'm wondering if it's steep enough for me to be able to run 24 kilometers per hour down here. I'm going to have to stretch my legs and at least do a little bit of a warm up after that long uh, drive in the car to get ready and uh, I'm a bit nervous <laughs> actually. This is just for fun but still I, I want to uh, do as good uh, as I can whenever I set out to do something and uh, it's been so long since I have been competing in anything so I actually feel those uh, kind of competition nerves but uh, it's a, sort of a good feeling as well so let's do some warm up The shoes I will be wearing is the Hooka Clifton 7s uh, they're for sure not the fastest shoe, but they have a lot of cushioning and it would be really demanding on my legs to run this fast uh, on a steep uh, downhill road. So the main goal is to not get injured and then I think the hookas is a good option. <laughs> There I'm off at my attempt at breaking the sub 4 minute mile and right off the bat I just try to accelerate as hard as I can. In the start here it's really hard for me to know which speed I'm supposed to run in. But I know that 24 km per hour is an insane speed that I never usually run in if I'm not doing sprints. So I just try to open really hard and go for it because I know that if I start too slow I will never be able to catch that time later on. I'm trying to settle into a good rhythm, but I'm really struggling to find a natural stride because it's new territory for me to keep this speed consistent. And my running feels sort of clunky and weird, but I just try to keep pushing hard. I have to hit just under 1 minute for each 400 meters in order to do a sub 4 minute mile. So closing in on the first 400 meters here, I'm really curious to see what my watch says. This will give me a good indication if I manage to start fast enough. Here I'm checking my watch and I'm very happy to see that my start has been fast and that I hit the 400 meter mark in 55 seconds. So now I know that if I just manage to keep this pace I will be able to make it. But as you can see this part is pretty flat so I really have to work hard to keep the speed. At this point I realized that it will be hard to get under 4 minutes because already here my legs are starting to hurt. To be honest, I didn't expect it to hurt this much. I don't know why I thought this, but I thought because it's downhill, it would be more about leg speed than endurance. But of course, when you push yourself to the limit, it's always gonna hurt. But although it's already getting tough, I'm determined to work hard to keep the speed. The current world record on the mile at the track is 3.43 by Hisham El Gerush and I must say that it's so insane that he ran even faster than this on flat surface on the mile. Yeah, it's, it's just an incredible achievement and it's so cool to see what we humans are capable of. Coming into the halfway mark I have lost some time, but I'm still 3.5 seconds under 2 minutes. I'm checking my watch a bit late here and see that I have ran 900 meters in about 210. So I realized that I have almost no margin left. So here I'm thinking that I will really have to dig deep to keep this for another 2 minutes. And since I'm hurting so much at this point and still have so long to go, I'm starting to realize that I will most probably not be able to get a sub 4 minute mile. But I just try to push those thoughts away and keep focusing on running fast.
Here I'm checking my watch again with 400 meters to go and I'm happy to see that I'm still in a position where it's possible, although it will be very, very close. So my competitive mindset kicks in and although my legs feel totally destroyed at this point, I decide to push really hard this last part. Trying to sprint this last bit, I'm a bit afraid of falling, it was pretty scary running at this downhill at speeds closing into 30 km per hour with legs filled with lactic acid, but I just tried to keep my focus this last bit and even find some power to accelerate towards the finish line. There I'm hitting the mile mark and I'm very happy to see that my watch is stopping at 3 minutes and 56 seconds. And as you can hear, I'm pretty tired as well. That was tough. I really didn't thought I would make it there for a while, but I did it in 3.56 and I'm very happy with that. But I must say a huge kudos to the ones who can do this for real on the track. That's just such an incredible achievement to run in that speed on flat surface for a mile. But I'm a bit curious now what kind of a time I could do on the track now as well. So comment down below if you want me to do an all out attempt on the mile on the track. And maybe I'll do that in an upcoming video. But until then, thanks for watching, train smart, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.